Hollywood Foreign Press. I'd like to thank all of you, but most importantly, I'd like to thank... Whoa! Chocolate! <laughs> sweet! <laughs> yeah! Really sweet! He's looking at us all weird like. Dude, I don't know. Whoa! Dude! Wow! Ah! Oh, awesome! Yeah! This is so cool! <laughs> sweet! <laughs> yeah, like really sweet! <gasps> what are you doing to Ian? And what are you doing to my clean kitchen floor? Oh, oh, Ian, you're just letting them do this to you? They super glued my arms and legs to the chair. <laughs> okay, like, I know you think it's wrong for us to make him a human chocolate sundae, but we've got a real good reason, Mom. Behold, Exhibit A. Stop that! Everybody, follow me. <laughs> In here, now! <laughs> I'm Barnacle Bob, and I'm proud of me fish stick. <laughs> You've been pranked. <laughs> Ian, the pranks have to stop. But, Mom, hidden camera prank shows are, like, so hot right now. Ian, I'm only going to say this one more time. Stop the pranks. Okay. Thank you. What's this? Oh, darn loose thread. <laughs> <laughs> You've been pranked. <laughs> and that, Ian, is why you're not allowed to bring your camera on our trip to a normal land. But what's the point of going to the world's largest, world's largest theme park if I can't take some video of the world's largest ball of boogies? Ian, you can come, your camera can't. So please stop being the world's largest pain in the behind and just get into the wagon. Come on, shake a leg or we won't make it in time to see the world's largest kilt. Coming. Okay, one last check. Oven off. Coffee maker off. Electric lemon zester, unplugged. Wait, did I check the smoke alarm? Ken, you are just going for the day. Besides, I'll be here dog-sitting, remember? <laughs> One can never be too careful. Come on, Ian. The world's largest breath mint awaits us. Dad, 
Can we have a private moment, please? Okay, but no singing. Well, my faithful friend, I guess this is it. We finally go our separate ways. No, no, don't turn away. Look at me. It's funny. I remember when we first met. I was so young. You were so shiny. I'm coming! Why, I'm still alive would be nice. Hey, fellas, everything okay back there? <laughs> Everything except the view. Grandma, please take care of my precious baby. Don't worry, Ian. I might even give him a bath. What? No! You'll fry the battery! Have fun! <laughs> Oh, cheer up, Spud. Would you like some of my world-famous haggis tea? <laughs> Can! A question! Could you drive any slower? I'm doing the speed limit. Oh, well, la -de da Here's an idea. Why don't you pull over so I can get out and hobble to a normal land and get there faster? Mother, please! Don't you know it's dangerous to distract a driver? Dad, look out! Dad! <laughs> What did I hit? A cardboard box? You hit a fisherman. What? A fisherman? Yeah, like Barnacle Bob. You know, the fish stick guy with the hat, rubber boots, and the yellow raincoat? <laughs> did anybody else see him? Uh, yeah, we saw him. See? Yeah, he was crossing the road with the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it was that fish stick guy. Who's right here? Well, there's nothing here now. Maybe your imagination is getting the better of you, dear. I know what I saw, Mom. Come on, back in the car before your grandmother throws a conniption. Say, hey, where'd she go? Grandma Kelly! Mom? Mom? I knew it. This is so like a classic horror movie. One by one, we'll all be victims of the crazy fish stick guy. Relax, Ian. If I know my mother, she's decided to walk to Kamloops and meet up with us at Enormal Land. I bet we catch up with her down the road. Yeah, not everything's a movie, Arnold Hitchcock. <laughs> Good one. Grandma Kelly! Mom? Ian, why don't you just close your eyes and try getting some sleep? No, thanks. Had some. Hop out and see what all the fuss is about. No, no, you'll be attacked by the Hellion, or Phantasm, or Leviathan, or whatever ethereal being is out there. Ian knows big words, eh? I'll take my chances. Besides, I never met a Leviathan before. Ah! 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 Fooled ya. So, Ian, you want to come out here and see your so called ethereal being? <laughs> Well, you're half right. That's one devil of a garbage bag. Okay, so maybe Mom's right. Maybe my imagination is in hyperdrive today. Come on, we still have a long drive ahead. <laughs> Stupid imagination. Okay, back to business. You take the high road and I'll take the low road. Da -da -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, Dad, where'd Kyle go? I don't know. Kyle? Kyle? Just my imagination. Just my imagination. Just my imagination. Kyle! 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 <laughs> Kyle? Where is he? He probably went looking for Grandma Kelly. Come on, they're probably just up the road. We're just gonna leave? No search parties? No police dogs? Ian, would you try not being Mr. Worst Case Scenario all the time? Look at your brother, cool as a cucumber. Corey, what do you make of all this disappearing nonsense? Any theories? Hungry. Of course. They probably got hungry and found a place to eat. No, I mean me. Hungry. Well, now that you mention it, the old gut is starting to growl. Hey, look, there's a diner up ahead. 
What do you say, Ian? Got the munchies yet? Kyle and Grandma Kelly are missing, and all you can think about is food? Hey, I smell fries. Well, isn't this quaint? It's about time we rubbed elbows with the locals, don't you think? Dad, some of these people don't have elbows. Hey, look, it's them. They're here. Kyle, Grandma. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry, my mistake. <laughs> oh, wouldn't you know it? No tofu or soy products anywhere to be seen. Honey, we're on vacation. One horribly unhealthy meal won't kill us. Uh, no, but the waitress might. Ian, what would you like to order? Ah, uh, uh, cheeseburger and flies. Fries! Fries! I mean, fries. <laughs> Barnacle Bob! The fish stick guy! I just saw him! Ian? He was right there! Ian, enough. My salad is growing fur! Fish sticks? I didn't order fish sticks. Excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> I, I didn't... I didn't order these. Hey! Who ate my fish sticks? Corey! Ow! I didn't eat your lousy fish sticks, Ian! Hey! Yeah. Oh, oh, that. That. Well, the two of you stop fighting and try to eat your disgusting, horrible, repulsive meals! <laughs> Okay, well, we're stuffed. Thank you for all your warm hospitality. <laughs> Barnacle Bob, there he is again, the fish stick guy! The fish stick guy! <laughs> Kids, right. you gotta love them. <laughs> Obviously doesn't know the moral of that story, Peter and the Wolf. I think he means the boy who cried wolf. But he's right there, Cory. I swear. Look. Uh, nope. Look, a wolf. Wolf. Uh, where? Where? Uh, there's nothing there, Ian. Jiminy! I think we blew a tire. Hey, look, a motel. Let's stop here and change that tire. Cory, Ian, give me a hand with the spare. Look, in that window up there. Who is that? Huh, kind of look like Grandma Kelly. Maybe she checked in here at the motel. Let's find out. Hello, anyone here? Look, there's the manager's office. <laughs> Okay, so this place isn't creepy at all. Shh, listen. What do we do now? Only one thing to do. Call the cops, right? Nope. Follow that sound. Uh, no thanks. I'll just, um... Uh... Wait for me! <laughs> It's 
coming from in there. So stupid. Clean your mess, Norman. It's not my mess. You don't control me. <coughs> oh, you, you, you shouldn't sneak up on people like that. You scared the pudding out of me. Uh, sorry, uh, we're looking for the manager. Well, you're talking to the right person. The name's Norman. Norman Dates, and I run this motel. Everything okay in there? Huh? Oh, I, I was just doing some cleaning. Some psycho poured chocolate syrup in the bathtub. Let's talk in my office. So then, one room, is it? Oh, well, we weren't planning on staying, but now that you mention it, it is getting late and we could use some shut-eye. Okay, then. You're all set. Here you go. Have a little old Scottish lady and a teenage boy checked in today? Oh, no. We haven't had anyone staying here for over a week. Matter of fact, I've been all alone for a really long time, and I'm going a little stir-crazy. I could really use the company. Alone? Well, what about that old lady in the house up there? Oh, you saw her, did you? Yes. Well, uh, that's... Norman! I need you to rub lotion on my bed sores! Coming, mother! Ah, uh, what's our room number? Um, actually, it's 18. There's dirt on the 8, see? Oh, this'll do. Wait, Mom? Where's Mom? Where'd she go? She was just here, Vicky. It's happening again! Mom? Vicky! <laughs> I'm not your father. I'm your mother! Kyle! 
it's you. Thank goodness. Help me find a way out of here. Kyle? Kyle? Oh no, you're stuffed too. They're all stuffed. Mommy has a present for you, Ian. <laughs> now that was frightfully funny. We'll be back after this. Hold on. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Hidden prank shows are like so hot right now, Ian. Busted! Like a cheap pinata, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you really think I fell for it? <laughs> I was totally playing along. I knew it was a prank show the whole time. Oh, you did, did ya? Well, duh. I'm TV savvy, remember? Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> this is where he finds out he got burned. Awesome. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> you really got sucked in big time. Nah, I'm just a good actor. That whole, ooh, I'm scared thing, that was just for the cameras. I knew what was going on. Spoo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, one question. How come they never showed any footage of that animatronic gremlin that flattened our tire? Probably because it looks so fake, right? Gremlin? What gremlin? There wasn't any gremlin, Ian. Sure there was, at the back tire. Uh, no, there wasn't. But then... 